so hello guys welcome to another video uh this is a longer video uh what we're gonna do is try to get the lights the portal lights like the exit door lights to work mine did not come equipped with those lights so i'm gonna have to retrofit that so i purchased um a kit from uh a kit uh, from um aliexpress i just received it and i also bought the quattro lights and um the ring lights so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna put the quattro lights on the back and the audi rings on the front okay guys so the first thing you gotta do it's um code the doors so we're gonna go into ovd 11 um, I'm going to show you this here uh, without being connected to the car, but it's just basically the same procedure. So you're going to click on your Audi and then you're going to go into control units. Now, here you're going to have all the modules in the car. So you're going to look for 52 and 42, which is 52 is passenger door and 42 is driver door. So let's go into 42 first. Now, once it loads up, you're going to go into long coding. However, remember that in order to have access to long coding, you need to have um, the license for, for a year. So that's what I purchased. Um, so you're going to go into door exit lights, which is here. Uh, in your case, it will be non-active. So you're going to make it active. And then here at the bottom, you will have a button that will say activate. You will press that button. And then it will say success once it's done. So you're going to do that for the driver door. And then you're going to do the same for the passenger door. So um, here it is. So passenger door, door exit light, it's active. So that's everything. That's all you got to do in order to have power going into the module. That's in the driver door and passenger door. That's step number one. I like to do this before I wire all the cables. Why? Because that way I can test if I have power coming through the cables. Now let's go to, a, to the first step, which would be to uh, remove the door panel. Okay, guys, uh, the first thing that we got to do, is we got to remove that. We gotta remove that uh, door panel. But um, here, there are some plastic clips that go that way, and then the other one goes like on an angle like this. So don't put your your um, tool here or here because you might break them. So you just put them in here, push a little bit, and then lift a little bit. There you go. take it out you take it out that way you see as you can see this this one and this one you gotta be careful they go in that way so if you put the, the tool here and push back you're gonna break these little things so always start from that angle now we gotta remove those two screws and there's another one here at the bottom. So with the screws removed, you can see all of them are gone. And just in case you're wondering, these are T25s. Okay, that's why you need to get these out. Now, um, on conventional cars, you see that the panel is on regular cars or different cars. Uh, the um, the door panels are um, hooked in against the frame of the door with plastic clips. In this case, there's um, a metallic, uh, like a little um, stick popping out, like about this big. One is here, another one is here. It's a couple at 
the bottom and a couple on the side. So it's an actual metal thing that it won't break. So it, so the plastic thing, the plastic panel is, there's uh, little holes and the metallic thing on the frame of the door goes inside this. So that's what it's holding it together. Also, there's a big bracket in here. So the way you do it is you put a pry tool such as this one in there and then you jam it out and then it pops out. It's a bit hard to do. It's like it's it's well put in together. You just have to with a little bit of force from the bottom towards you that way. So when you get to the top, you're going to lift and then take it out. Don't jam it out that way. Don't pull it from here towards you. You want to just pull the bottom towards you and the sides towards you and this side as well towards you. But when you get here to the top, you're just going to lift and then it comes out. So this rubber part will try to come off, but it's fine if it does. All you have to do is push it back in. And this, we need to unplug this. There's the main connector. All you have to do here, it's very simple. You just have to press here. And the yellow, the, the purple part will come down.
Thank <laughs> you.